and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about some cozy games and some books that I think remind me of said cozy games. So it's kind of like a dual recommendation video. I'm recommending books and I'm recommending cozy games. Some of these cozy games I have not played but I plan on playing. Um, I stream on Twitch so when I do get to these games I will be streaming them. And then some of the cozy games I have played. All the books I have read though that I will be recommending. So Let's just dive in and get into this because I'm really, really excited. Okay, the first one we have is 100 Days, which is a wine making simulator. I saw this game first. Um, I saw Cozy K playing it. I'll link her YouTube channel and her Twitch channel down below. Um, the summary here says, in 100 days, you have full control of your own perfect winery. Choose the vines you will grow, learn how to grow them and how to harvest, then go through the winemaking process process to make your perfect wine. Now, while I was watching Cozy K play this, the banter and the dialogue in this game was fantastic. I've seen this described as like Stardew Valley for people who really love wine. Um, I don't drink, so I don't like wine. <laughs> But this just seems so much fun and like a cool way to learn about the process of wine as well. From what I saw, it seemed very accurate. Again, I don't know. I don't drink wine, but it seemed really good. Um, and I really want to play it. <laughs> the book that I am recommending for this is That Time I Got Drunk and Saved a Demon by Kimberly Lemming. Um, I loved this book. <laughs> I loved it. I'm not a romance reader. I will pick up like a quirky romance, I guess, like this one. Um, I laughed all the way, all the way through it. The main character in the very beginning is drunk off wine and cheese, and she stumbles upon um, this demon and the scent of the cinnamon that is growing, uh, like knocks him out of like, what's going on? Is that right? Did I write that down right? Yeah. And he he then tells her that like the goddess that her and the village are worshiping is actually the devil like she's the worst and uh she he needs her help like fighting back and it was very hilarious it was very steamy the banter was very was very great and i think it's a good pairing to a uh, hundred days here <laughs> on to the next one we have To The Moon. To The Moon, I um, played on my Switch, and it is just this very sweet story-based game where there are these two doctors. Let me scroll up so I don't miss anything. Okay, so there are two doctors, Dr. Rosaline and Dr. Watts, and um, their job is like giving people, giving patients their dying wish. Um, and like they can go in their brain and like alter memories or go comb through the memories to see how they can then like implant their this like new life based on the wish that the patient would want. Um, and they get called to this elderly man's house and they meet his housekeeper and her children um, who are caring after the old man and the old man's dying wish is to go to the moon. Um, this was incredible and I cried hard. I cried hard. The music was great. I thought the story was really sweet. The tears were flowing. And for that, I recommend The Housekeeper and the Professor by Yoko Agawa because, um, again, we got a housekeeper caring for an elderly man. He may not have like a last wish, but um, in this book, he ha he suffers from like extreme memory loss. So every day he's re-meeting the housekeeper. He eventually meets and of course continues to meet uh, her son. And they develop a really sweet um, relationship. I have an entire video talking just about this book, so I won't say too much. I'll just link the the um, the video in the description box if you want to hear more about this. But I thought it just matched up so well with To the Moon. I played the the game first, and then I read this book. But um, yeah. Next we have Spirit Fair, y'all. I love Spirit Fair so much. This. This book is amazing. Um, there's actually like a like a tagline that says a cozy management game about dying. Um, in this game, you play as Stella. She's the one in the hat there. And her trusted cat, Daffodil. We love Daffodil. Uh, Stella is tasked with being like the fairy master for all of these spirits and helping them pass on by doing whatever tasks or requests they have. 
Um, it's heartwarming. It's heartbreaking. You get so attached to all these spirits. And there's just the, the story. I don't want to say anything. The story is just so good. The artwork is gorgeous. Like, look at this. The music. <sighs> Amazing. This is the first game that I ever streamed on Twitch. And I cried a lot on Twitch. My first few streams. <laughs> But in this game, you farm, you harvest, you craft, you build buildings, you cook as you travel from island to island, you meet all these different characters. It's so beautiful and so well done. Um, the first book that I thought of was The Monsters We Defy by Leslie Penelope. I love this book! I have a whole review on my Instagram and on my story graph. Um, but this is about Clara Johnson, who can talk to spirits, who, um, or it was a gift that she was born with um and then came into prominence when she uh was put in jail in washington dc this is set in 1925 i can't remember if i said that <laughs> um but now it is a curse um because the spirit who gave her this like insane ability for her to get out of jail now needs her to steal a ring off of one of the most powerful black women in the district um, and so this becomes like a supernatural heist where she's working with these other people who also owe some sort of debt or receive some sort of gift from a spirit and they all have to work together and use their gifts to potentially pull this off or get in even more trouble. It's, it's a delight. The characters, again, you get so attached to these characters, like so attached to these characters. They're all so incredible in their own ways and you just feel sucked into the story similar to how you feel sucked into um spirit fair also spirit fair main character is a black girl there's not too many video games i can name off the top of my head where the main character is a black girl i know i don't play a whole lot of games but i'm really trying to sit here and think and i think spirit fair is the only one that i can really name so do yourself a favor and read this book <laughs> okay the next one we have is stray stray recently came out i have not um played stray but i have seen some gameplay and i'm all about it i really 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 want to play it um so because i don't know so much about it i'm just gonna read off my notes here it says lost alone and separated from family a stray cat must untangle an ancient mystery to escape a long forgotten city stray is a third person cat adventure game set amidst the detailed neon lit alleys of a decaying cyber city and the murky environments of its seedy underbelly Rome's surroundings high and low defend against unforeseen threats and solve the mysteries of this unwelcoming place inhabited by curious droids and dangerous creatures i want to play it so bad also look how cute look at it's adorable i really want to play it <laughs> i really want to play it um so i actually thought of like a couple books for this one literally the main character is a cat it's called the cat who saved books by susoki natsukawa oh, i'm so sorry if i pronounced that incorrectly i should have looked it up but i will link this book uh down below it was translated from japanese from the japanese by louise heel kawaii um and it is about a high school student who lives with his grandfather yes lives with his grandfather his grandfather runs this um used bookstore um, but his grandfather passes away and he has no one, um, other than an aunt that he like distantly knows and he has to close down the store and move in with her. But he really doesn't want to because he doesn't want to lose this bookshop, but he's like 14. Like, <laughs> can he run it on his own? So one day he's, um, closing the shop up and he hears this voice and he's like, oh, sorry, sir. You know, we're closing. You got to get out of here. And he looks around the store and he doesn't find anybody, but he keeps hearing this voice like talking to him. Come to find out, it's a cat. There's a cat just walking around that's like, hey, uh, are you the proprietor of this bookstore? And the kid's like, yes. And then the cat is like, great, I need you to help me save some books. And him and this boy go on this journey meeting people who are doing some interesting things with books. And the cat is determined to save the books and he's determined to have the boy help him. It was a very interesting book. It was a very interesting like outlook on um, outlook on books. I don't know. I 
it's a very short book. Like I, I cleaned, I like mopped the floors, cleaned some dishes and like the book was done. So I don't really want to say too much, but it was very heartwarming and it was really sweet. I really liked the concept. Um, another book that uh, doesn't really have anything to do with animals, but this whole like wandering alone in this somewhat like futuristic time um, kind of, kind of reminded me of Remote Control by Nettie Okorafor. Um, the main girl is wandering around and there are, there are like these rumors from other places that have named her, uh, Death's Daughter. Um, and there is like one place that she is in that made me think specifically like of this photo right here where there's like a, there's like a computer technology store and there's something to do in the book with like cell phones. I know I'm not really describing it very well, but I like keeping Nettie Okorafor's works like very like mysterious. Like you just have to find out. Um, but it kind of gave me like some stray vibes with the like wandering around and having to make sense of the world. Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm really, really excited to play Stray. Eventually I will. And when I do, as I said earlier, I will be streaming it on Twitch. And that's all my games and recommendations. I hope you enjoyed it. Have you played any of these games? Have you read any of these books? Did these games make you think of other books? Did these books make you think of other games? If so, let me know. I'm definitely down to make my list of books and games grow a whole lot bigger. Uh, currently, I primarily stream Animal Crossing on uh, Twitch because I just became re-addicted to it. So that's what we've been doing over there. Eventually, I will switch it up. <laughs> If you would like to purchase any of these books, please use my affiliate code to bookshop.org. If you don't want to buy through Amazon, Bookshop is a great way to do so because it supports local uh, bookstores all over. And I think that's really beautiful and very fun. And um, if you use my affiliate link, I do receive a commission, which goes to uh, purchasing these cozy games. <laughs> So I hope you have some fun playing the games. I hope you have some happy reading and I will talk to you later. 